We haven't been up this side for quite some time right here on Water Wednesdays, but we are back in St. Lucie at the Hope where there is this package desal plant right behind me. One of the tools that we utilize to supplement the water supply in Barbados, especially here up north. Uh, you may ask, why are we supplementing the supply still when we've had so much rain in recent time? Well, there is a different story to tell on this edition to tell you more about what is happening and what has to happen going forward. We have hydrogeologists with the Barbados Water Authority, Jamie Paul. Jamie, we've had some good rainfall in recent time, but we're still using this package desal plant here at the Hope in St. Lucie. People may ask, and rightly so, why? Hi, Shane. Um, we have had this lovely rain, as you've said, and while we appreciate it, and while it is making a vast difference to the surface of Barbados, we've seen everything getting a lot greener, a lot more lush. However, this water takes a lot longer to get to our aquifers. We can have as much rain as we want at the surface. However, it can take up to three months to reach our, our aquifers, our wells in particular. And those wells are what we want to see the difference in. Unfortunately, we haven't seen that as yet. We are continuing with our testing um, on a weekly basis. And what we're seeing is a still an increase in the rise of uh, chlorides. Uh, so you have to understand that we're continuously pumping. And even though, yes, we're getting in this rain, we're still taking off a lot more than we're getting in. And so we're gonna still see a rise in, in chloride. So what we are hoping is that by the end of the year, we would see a drop in these chlorides. So that's one of the reasons we continue to utilize these package plants, these desal package plants. And we actually have a plan in place to put some more package plants along the West Coast and in the North so that we can ensure that everybody gets a more consistent supply of water. Mm. Talk a bit about the operation here behind me. How does this brackish water plant work in terms of supplementing the supply here up north? Okay, so we have a well here, and this well was put in quite some time ago. Uh, we installed the brackish water desal plant. It's a package plant, so it's a, it's a small plant in comparison to the one that we have at Spring Garden. And this plant, so it takes water from the well and pushes it through the membranes and then it reduces the amount of chlorides and reduces the salt content of the water, makes it a lot more safer to drink. So whereas we might have started with, say, um, what, 500 milligrams per, per, per liter, we will end up with, with less than 10 in this situation. So ensuring that the water is a lot safer to drink, it's a lot fresher, and that water can then go on to be mixed with other sources to reduce the salt content. So what, what's the solution going for these packaged plants? will have to be used, uh, uh, c continue to be used to supplement our water supply, especially with the rising salinity levels? This is a part of our plan going forward. It's a multi-pronged approach. We're hoping that we can ensure that the public take a little bit more responsibility in their ensuring that they have water for their homes. So we're hoping that more people install rainwater harvesting tanks. Mm. So that would reduce the amount of water you require from the public service. You can use your water from your tanks to wash your car, to wet your gardens, to wash anything around your home. So that reduces the amount of potable water that you will require from Barbados Water Authority and it will reduce your bill, mm. which is great. And so then we would require less water pumping and it would allow the, the fresh water to be able to push back the salt water and in turn reduce the chlorides because we can't have the chloride level going above 250 milligrams per liter, which is the what, WHO level that uh, we can't surpass. And just a reminder to customers, it's all about conservation as well. Wherever you can in your home, please conserve water and of course, you may need to catch water from time to time. It is still the hurricane season. The recommended amount, five gallons per person per day. We really want to thank you for watching this edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. Uh, you can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages for additional information, or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can find us there. It is